Um, human relation skills. This is one thing that's very important. Um, as I said before, especially in the financial industry. Um, I was a banker for a while. Um, one of the most important things was that I had to go into your office. I had to get you to like me. Okay. If you liked me, then you trust me. And then we do business. Um, a lot of times people think management is just telling people what to do. If it were that simple, anyone could do it. You have to be able to relate to people. You have to be able to get people on board with your idea or your plan and get them to want to accomplish it. So that's very important. Communicating well. Okay. We can look to the military for this. Uh, what happens when, say, a general gives orders to a unit and those orders aren't clear? They don't understand them. How are they going to follow them? We're going to skip harmless harvest. Okay. Requirement for successful leadership. Communicate objectives and expectations. Gain the respect and trust of stakeholders. Develop shared values. Acquire and share knowledge. Empower employees to make decisions. Be a role model for appropriate behavior. Provide rewards and take corrective action to achieve goals. Okay, and this is from table 6.5 in your book. Now here, develop shared values. That's an important part. We don't just want employees who do things because you tell them to or because they're afraid of losing their jobs. We want the employee on board with the plan and the values of the corporation. The mission statement is a big part of this. Okay. We want our employees to understand those miss uh, that mission statement. We want them to understand how we make money, how we create success a successful business, and how they can contribute to that. Okay. Um, gain the respect and trust of stakeholders. Trust is important. If you don't have trust, you're going to have problems. If you go in and you say, okay, we're going to do X, Y, and Z today, and people are wondering, well, can I trust this, right? Is this the right thing to do? Then you're going to have problems, okay? Communicate objectives and expectations. Communication is a big and important part of this. When you have employees, you have to make sure that they understand what it is you want from them. Okay, what it is that makes this business successful. If you don't have good communication, then you're going to have problems achieving your goals. Okay, be a role model for appropriate behavior. Okay, especially if you're coming out of college. If you, if you look, if you have, if you work in a job and you have someone with a college degree in that job, you know that you expect more out of them, especially when it comes to ethical behavior. Okay? It just goes with being a college graduate. If I have someone that I work with or work for, and they have a college degree, I expect more from them ethically. Here we've got the leadership styles. You can read about those in your book. Um, steps in the process of decision makings, and then uh, we'll call this a video and we'll have a quiz afterwards. Recognize and define the decision situation. These are the steps. Develop options, analyze options, select the best option, implement the decision, and monitor the consequences.